happening everybody? How you doing? Hi mom and them. We back in this beach for a holiday glam look. You feel me? This is what we're working with today. This is what we're going for. She's giving. She's giving me everything that I wanted. It's very Mrs. Claus would make it sexy. You know? Like. Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I mean, unless you don't celebrate that. If you don't, that's totally cool. In that case, it's just another day where I'm wearing very eccentric makeup for no reason at all. Merry Chris Mahana Kwanzaa, if you will. So before we get the ball rolling here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the fuck I post. Um, I just started this shit and I'm already peeping game. The YouTube's, YouTube's algorithm is, is a little bit funky. It's a little bit weird. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that you are able to receive me and my energy equally. Okay, so hit the notification bell. I'm planning on posting this on Christmas Day, um, and that'll be my video for the week. So instead of posting Sunday, today's post is going to be my post for the week. I don't even know what else. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let's just get right into it. Let me not be a rude ass bitch and introduce myself. My name is Nigel Lee or Nayeli, whichever rolls off the tongue better for you. I think in my last video, I forgot to introduce myself. Or one of my last couple videos, I don't know which one, but just know I am not a rude ass bitch. My mother raised me right. I just forgot, okay? So before I forget it again, here I am. Reintroducing myself for anyone who's new. Okay, we back. Look at another day, another slide. All right, first things first, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and base my lid with the, uh, what is this shit called again? The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I haven't done any makeup for like three weeks now. My last three videos are pre-filmed because um, my skin was going through it and she needed a break. And I must say, we are recovering swimmingly. I'm all fucking, I'm glazed, I'm hydrated, my hyperpigmentation is starting to clear up. Okay, we still got some work to do. Still got lots of work to do, but you know what? I'm pleased with the progress. Also, I ironed my backdrop, did you guys notice? And I was editing my last video and the creases in my backdrop were so upsetting. And like, I've been knowingly ignoring them for the longest time, so I finally went and ironed my damn backdrop. Now that I have a different one on the way. But I mean, better late than never, right? The level of concentration while I'm carving out my brows and Speaking is simply not an option. I just put my battery in. How did it just drop to half? Something in the air draining its energy. Oh my god, are you guys watching Attack on Titan Season 4? It's on Hulu if you haven't started it yet. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with the Stacey Marie um, Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Pro Palette. I'm gonna use this shade Inferno right here. And now with a clean brush, I'm just going to buff out the edges of that red. Why is my phone ringing? <sighs> Nobody wants to talk to me when I'm doing nothing. The second I'm busy. 
So now that we have buffed out the edges of that red, I'm gonna go back with more red just to give it um, a little more definition. With the same clean brush, I'm gonna go and buff the edges once more. Now in the same fashion which I normally do, I will simply place the concealer on the middle of my eye and look up to mark where I need it to go. Now before this gets all creasy and gross, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid color, which is Pillow Talk from that Be Perfect Cosmetics palette. Alright, we are base and ready to go. On a small flat brush, I think I'm gonna go in and define my crease just a smidge more with black. Risque, I know, but it must be done. On second thought, I'm not sure I'm filling that bolt, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with red. Alright, so now, with that black and red mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and go back around my crease very gently, carefully, precisely. And once I have that outline, I'm just gonna go Kind of pull it up with the same flat brush so it's not quite so harsh. And now on a small blending brush with just the red, I'm gonna go right over top that, like barely touching my eye, just kind of skimming over. So now I'm gonna wipe the brush clean and go over the edges in like circular motions so that the blend is seamless. And now for the eyeliner, I'm actually gonna use a white body paint for my eyeliner because I have no idea what happened to my white eyeliner. So um, we're gonna use body paint. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda, where my eye folds, I'm gonna mark right beneath it so I know not to go above that because if I do, my wing is gonna look super wonky. I don't know if that makes sense.
Ooh, that was a lot. Yep, other eye is happening off camera because that was so much. That was so much, like, emotionally. Ooh. Somebody got that dank somewhere. Oh my god. Ooh wee. So now with a nail brush, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stripes on my candy cane. So I could do the candy cane pattern all the way around, but that's just far too much for me, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, now that our candy cane eyeliner is done, we're going to take care of that waterline. So I'm just going to buff out the little creases that I got going on here. Going with the same red that I used in my crease. Okay, so now um, on the same flat top brush that I used earlier for my crease, I'm gonna take some black and red mixed together and go on my lash line. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go over that with more red. Now on a clean angle brush, I'm gonna go in that little in-between space and just apply more of the white that I used on my lid. Now for the fun part. Crystals, crystals. I need a snack though. I'm hungry as a bitch. You know, it's already kind of a lot happening. And I find myself questioning. If the crystals would be too much, but then again, like, this is me. So like, it's too much, really too much. It's the question. I've decided now. I was going to do the crystals along the entirety of my cut crease, but like, it's so clean, you know? And like, I want the people to see it. So, I'm thinking perhaps instead, we'll do the crystals maybe up here. Fuck it. First, let us replenish our strength and hydrate. You know when the water like real crisp, like real crisp and it just, you just feel it like in your core. I'm gonna take my duo lash glue on the back of my hand. It's like a little dot, you know. You know, I'm realizing I might have to go over my eyebrows, so I'm gonna do them really quick before I finish the rest of my crystals. My bottom three vertebrae just popped for no reason. All I did was turn. Like, that was an obnoxious reaction, honestly. The dramatics of my body at this stage in my life, like, you're too young to be complaining so loudly, sis. All right, so I'm just gonna very quickly fill in my brows a little bit with um, just a dark brown eyeshadow. Any dark brown eyeshadow will do.
Alright, so back to my crystals. Oh shit, dog. Fuck. <laughs> I just spilled so many crystals. <laughs> Why? God, the amount of crystals that is just like scattered before me. Okay, so my crystals are laid and I have just decided that I desire eyeliner in my waterline. So I'm just gonna take the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner. And now I'm just gonna take the black from that Be Perfect Cosmetics palette and just smoke it out. And now for mascara. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This has been my tried and true since like high school. And before that, it was the, the Great Lash Mascara in the pink tube with the green top. Real ones know what I'm talking about. The lashes that I'm going to use today are from Black Label. This is a black owned lash brand. I am so incredibly excited to use these. They are so gorgeous. This is the style that I'm going to use today. The style is called Finesse. They sent me three and I am so eternally grateful. I am an affiliate with the brand. I do have a discount code for you guys if you're interested in these lashes. Let me just show you. Okay, so first of all, this is how they arrived to me. Like. Can we say hello packaging? I don't know, y'all gonna have to get you some lashes and see it for yourself because I'm telling you. So I will go ahead and leave a link in the description box if you wanna get you some lashes. Okay, let's go ahead and measure these lashes and make sure that they fit. My eyes are like microscopic, so I always have to trim a bunch off of my lashes. We're gonna go ahead and apply some glue as soon as I find it. And while I'm applying one lash, I already put glue on the other one so that it can start to dry while I'm applying this one. Cause we all know that lash glue takes T minus five years to dry. So I'm about to look good as shit, damn. Carefully now, carefully. These lashes are hard as fuck, dude. Is that like an accurate way to describe a pair of lashes? These are hard. All right, and the eyes are finally done, so we can go ahead and start with the face. So we're gonna start with my handy dandy Benefit Professional as always. And just with a pea-sized amount. Massage into the skin. So next up, we're gonna go in with this Melanie Mills Gleam Body Radiance as a nice um, glowy base under the foundation. Ooh. Popped a bit. Popped a bit on my, on my white shirt. And now just with a flat top brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation, my favorite luminous foundation at the moment. Gosh, it's so gloomy today, why? And before someone is like, girl, it's winter time, this is San Diego. Okay, I live in San Diego and it's sunny all year round, even in the winter, so that's why I'm like, mm, gloom, why? But like, it's, it's cause I'm spoiled. It's cause I'm spoiled, I apologize. Let me stop complaining. <laughs> I instinctively like pull my hair back when I'm gonna go blend on my horn. 
My hair is cornrow. What am I pulling back? What the hell am I pulling back? Gonna take my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and highlight all the high points of my face. Okay, so now I'm just going to set everything that I just highlighted with some, excuse me, with my KVD translucent powder. I have not used this before. It's a little like, it's a tiny little like sample size. So we're gonna give it a go today since I ran out of my other translucent powder. Okay, right off the bat. I am, I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. It is melting like right into my skin, which is pretty dope. But does it flash back though? That is the real question. Some of my True Match powder over the rest of my face. I want to maintain the dew. And now to bronze, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer. This is pretty much the only one that I've been using for a while now. Hit the jawline so no one knows about all the snacks you've been eating as you watch this video. You must not forget to snatch the nose. And for blush today, we're going to use the Lottie London Blush Crush. This is the shade Harry. Your wizard, Harry. Fuck it, or Rudolph. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Milani Baked Blush on top of that just to give it a glue. We're going to use our Juvia's Place the Heroin Glow. Another tried and true. Yep. Y'all, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna use this Lime Crime Lip Velveteen in the shade Red Velvet. Okay, so my camera started tweaking like as soon as I started wrapping up, so I had to kind of stop for a minute and figure out that whole situation. But the only other thing that I did off camera was add glitter to my lip, and that's the whole look for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little holiday look. I hope you guys have a great holiday. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Stay the fuck home, please. Be safe, everybody. Wear your motherfucking masks make sure you like comment subscribe all that bullshit you already know what's good and have a good one peace out bye